So, in the past week, I decided to do an experiment. An experiment testing practice techniques. Basically, I went for a full week only doing slow solves. Now, this was mainly the slow solve type that works on look ahead by staying at a consistent speed, but sometimes it was the type where you stop and think about every step. Anyway, as you probably have heard from a lot of different sources regarding improvement, slow solves are the way to go for both look ahead and efficiency. Really what improvement is, at an advanced level that is. So I wanted to see if this would make a difference in my times with an average of 50 if I slow solved for a week. Just some quick notes about my speed, my PB average of 50 is 9.49, but my global average is about 9.8 to 9.9. All my other PBs are in the link in the description. Before I reveal the average, I'm just going to show you what my time's looking like at first. Every now and then I would choke on a solve or two and get a bad average of 5 which wasn't too great, but then on the other hand I would start getting 8s and then score an 8 second average. So it was quite inconsistent really, and I couldn't clearly see the effect of the slow solves. So I ended up getting a 9.83 average of 50, featuring an 11 second average of 5 by the way. Which as I said before, is just a little bit faster than my global average, so not a big difference. Although, after doing this average of 50, I realised a pretty important point. Focused practice solves are key. For many people, including me, at a pretty fast point in cubing, this is making a conscious effort during timed solves to both turn slower to look ahead and to look as far as possible in inspection. I noticed several times during the average that the solves I put effort in to do that were really fast. I also noticed that the fastest solves were almost all after taking a short break and coming back to continue the average of 50. So I was refreshed and not as tired to solve. Maybe this could be another experiment but I reckon that if I took the time in between solves to relax and put 100% effort into making each solve as good as possible, I reckon I could get a PB average of 50. I also reckon that if I did this for all of my practice, every time I practiced, I would be a much faster cuber right now. But unfortunately, that takes extreme dedication and this is overall a pretty tough thing to do. So I hope you guys could take some advice away from this experiment and some of my observations during it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.